Welcome back to Brainwaves. In today's episode, we dive into the scorching world of extreme temperatures. We're going to answer the burning question, what's the hottest substance on Earth? Get ready to be amazed as we explore the incredible heat generated by various substances and phenomena. From molten lava to mind-boggling temperatures in space, we'll explore the hottest substances known to man. So put on your heat-resistant gear and join us on this captivating journey. When a volcano erupts, it releases an incredible substance known as lava. Lava is formed deep within the Earth's mantle, where intense heat and high pressure cause rocks to melt. As the magma rises towards the surface, it undergoes a transformation, becoming molten rock known as lava. This molten rock is composed mainly of silicate minerals, such as basalt, and can also contain gas bubbles and various types of volcanic glass. As the lava flows out from the volcano during an eruption, it can reach temperatures of up to 1,200 degrees Celsius, 2,192 degrees Fahrenheit, making it one of the hottest substances on our planet. The temperature of lava can vary depending on its composition and the type of volcano it originates from. On average, lava temperatures can range from 700 degrees Celsius, 1,292 degrees Fahrenheit, to 1,200 degrees Celsius, 2,192 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme heat is generated by the high temperatures deep within the Earth's mantle, where rocks melt and form magma. As the magma rises and reaches the surface, it becomes lava and retains its intense heat. The temperature of lava is so hot that it can easily melt surrounding rock, ignite flammable materials, and cause significant damage during volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions are powerful natural events that unleash the immense energy and force of lava. When a volcano erupts, it releases vast amounts of lava, which can flow down its slopes or burst into the air as fountains of molten rock. The force behind these eruptions is generated by the buildup of pressure within the volcano's magma chamber. As the pressure becomes too great, the molten rock breaks through the Earth's crust, resulting in a volcanic eruption. The lava, propelled by the force of the explosion, can flow at incredible speeds, destroying everything in its path. The power of lava is not only in its scorching heat but also its ability to reshape the landscape, create new formations, and leave behind a trail of destruction. Welcome to the world of graphene. Graphene is an incredible material that consists of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. It is incredibly thin, being just one atom thick, yet possesses remarkable properties that make it highly sought after in various fields of research and technology. Graphene was first isolated and studied in 2004, leading to a Nobel Prize in physics for its discoverers. Since then, it has captured the attention of scientists and engineers worldwide. Its unique structure and properties make it a material of great interest and potential in areas such as electronics, energy storage, and even medicine. The structure and properties of graphene are truly fascinating. As mentioned earlier, graphene is composed of a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. Each carbon atom is bonded to three neighboring carbon atoms, forming strong and stable bonds. This unique arrangement gives graphene several extraordinary properties. Firstly, it is incredibly strong, even stronger than steel, yet remarkably lightweight. It is also an exceptional conductor of electricity, allowing electrons to flow through it with very little resistance. Additionally, Graphene has excellent thermal conductivity, meaning it can efficiently transfer heat. These properties, along with its transparency and flexibility, make graphene a material with immense potential in numerous applications. One of the remarkable properties of graphene is its incredibly high melting point. It has a melting point of approximately 4,500 degrees Celsius, 8,132 degrees Fahrenheit which makes it one of the hottest substances on Earth when exposed to extreme temperatures. This high melting point can be attributed to the strong covalent bonds between carbon atoms in its hexagonal lattice structure. These bonds are not easily broken, even at such high temperatures. As a result, graphene can withstand immense heat without losing its structural integrity and unique properties. 
This exceptional thermal stability adds to the already impressive range of attributes that make graphene a material of great interest and potential in various fields of science and technology. Welcome to the world of plasma. Plasma is a unique state of matter that is often referred to as the fourth state of matter, alongside solid, liquid, and gas. It is formed when a gas is heated to such high temperatures that its atoms or molecules are ionized, resulting in the presence of highly charged particles known as ions and free electrons. These charged particles make plasma electrically conductive, allowing it to respond to electric and magnetic fields. Plasma can be found in a variety of natural and man-made phenomena, such as lightning, neon lights, and even stars. Its ability to reach temperatures of millions of degrees Celsius makes it one of the hottest substances known to man. Plasma is formed when a gas is subjected to high-energy inputs, such as extreme heat, electromagnetic radiation, or strong electric fields. These inputs cause the atoms or molecules in the gas to lose or gain electrons, resulting in the creation of highly charged particles. Plasma exhibits unique characteristics due to the presence of these charged particles. It is electrically conductive, meaning it can carry an electric current. It can also generate and respond to magnetic fields, leading to phenomena like plasma confinement in fusion reactors. Additionally, plasma can emit light of various colors depending on the elements present, giving rise to the vibrant colors in neon signs and auroras. Its ability to conduct electricity, respond to magnetic fields, and emit light are some of the distinguishing characteristics of plasma. The extreme temperatures that plasma can reach make it a fascinating substance to study and utilize. Plasma can achieve temperatures of millions of degrees Celsius, far surpassing the temperatures of other states of matter. These extremely high temperatures provide unique opportunities for applications of plasma in various fields. In fusion reactors, plasma is manipulated and controlled to initiate nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun, in hopes of providing clean and abundant energy. Plasma is also employed in plasma cutting and welding, where its intense heat is used to melt and shape metals. Furthermore, plasma can be found in plasma TVs and fluorescent lighting where it emits ultraviolet light that excites phosphors, resulting in the production of visible light. The ability of plasma to reach such extreme temperatures opens up a world of possibilities for scientific advancements and technological innovations. Welcome to the fascinating world of the sun's core. At the heart of our sun lies its core, which happens to be the hottest part of our solar system. The temperatures in the core are estimated to be around 15 million degrees Celsius, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. This immense heat is generated by the intense gravitational pressure and the process of nuclear fusion happening within the core. The sun's core is where hydrogen atoms fuse together to form helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. This energy is what powers the sun and provides the light and heat that sustains life on Earth. Understanding the temperature and conditions of the sun's core is crucial for unraveling the secrets of our star and the universe beyond. The temperature and conditions in the sun's core are truly extraordinary. As mentioned earlier, the core is estimated to have temperatures of around 15 million degrees Celsius, 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. These incredibly high temperatures are reached as a result of the immense gravitational pressure exerted by the layers of the sun above the core. This pressure causes the hydrogen atoms in the core to collide with each other at high speeds, resulting in a process called nuclear fusion. In this fusion process, hydrogen atoms combine to form helium, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the form of light and heat. The extreme temperatures and intense energy production in the core create an environment that is vastly different from anything we can experience on Earth. Studying and understanding the temperature and conditions in the sun's core is crucial to unraveling the mysteries of stellar evolution and the fundamental processes that power our star. The energy generation in the sun's core is a result of the remarkable process known as nuclear fusion. In the extreme temperatures and pressures of the core, hydrogen atoms are fused together to form helium through a series of nuclear reactions. The fusion process involves the collision of hydrogen nuclei, or protons, leading to the creation of heavier helium nuclei. This fusion releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of photons, or light particles. 
These photons then travel through the sun's various layers, gradually making their way to the surface and eventually into space, where they provide the sunlight that reaches our planet. It is the continuous and massive energy generation in the sun's core that sustains the sun's brightness and heat, making it the powerhouse of our solar system. Understanding the intricacies of this energy generation process is fundamental to our comprehension of the sun, as well as other stars in the universe. Welcome to the world of thermonuclear bombs. A thermonuclear bomb, also known as a hydrogen bomb, is one of the most powerful and destructive weapons ever created by humankind. It is designed to release an immense amount of energy through the process of nuclear fusion. The fusion reactions in a thermonuclear bomb can reach temperatures of tens of millions of degrees Celsius, creating an extremely hot and intense environment. This incredible heat triggers the fusion of isotopes of hydrogen, such as deuterium and tritium, resulting in the formation of helium and releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. The introduction of a fission bomb as a trigger initiates the fusion reactions in the thermonuclear bomb, leading to a devastating release of energy. The sheer power and extreme temperatures achieved by a thermonuclear bomb make it one of the hottest man-made substances ever created. The fusion process and extreme temperatures involved in a thermonuclear bomb are both fascinating and terrifying. The first step in the process is the detonation of a fission bomb, which generates an immense amount of heat and pressure. This heat and pressure create the ideal conditions for the fusion reactions to occur. The fusion reactions take place using isotopes of hydrogen, which are contained within the bomb. These isotopes, such as deuterium and tritium, are forced together under extreme temperatures and pressures. As they collide, they undergo nuclear fusion, in which they combine to form helium atoms, releasing an enormous amount of energy in the process. The temperatures reached during this fusion process can reach tens of millions of degrees Celsius, comparable to the temperatures found at the core of the Sun. These extreme temperatures and the subsequent release of energy are what make a thermonuclear bomb such a devastating weapon. The destructive power and controversies surrounding thermonuclear bombs are profound. Due to the extreme temperatures and massive release of energy, a thermonuclear bomb can unleash an incomprehensible amount of destructive force. The explosion can cause devastating shockwaves, intense heat, and a blinding flash of light. The blast can level entire cities and cause widespread destruction over vast areas. The heat generated is so intense that it can vaporize structures and ignite fires over large distances. The aftermath of a thermonuclear bomb detonation can have long-lasting and far-reaching consequences, including radioactive fallout, environmental damage, and severe health risks for both immediate and future generations. The sheer power and potential for devastation have led to significant controversies surrounding the production, proliferation, and use of thermonuclear bombs. The ethical, humanitarian, and geopolitical implications of these weapons continue to be subjects of intense debate. And that brings us to the end of our exploration into the hottest substances on Earth. We hope you've enjoyed this fiery adventure and gained a deeper understanding of the extreme temperatures that exist in our world. From lava flowing from volcanoes to the incredible heat generated by atomic bombs, these substances remind us of the immense power and energy that can be unleashed. Stay tuned to Brainwaves for more fascinating topics and don't forget to keep your cool. Until next time, stay curious and keep expanding your mind.